Hey folks, my name is Nick Drake and I'm the pastor of Richmond Baptist Church here in Kingdom City, Missouri. And I want to invite you to join us on Sunday morning at 930 for family groups at 1040 for our worship celebration. And then again, again Sunday evening at six o'clock for our prayer and praise service. And during our video today, I wanted to just in invite you to that. But also I wanted to share a quick preview of our uh, message on Sunday morning, the message that we're going to finish this short three week series we've been doing on politics, the red and the blue, and, and really looking at the fact that uh, we can be politically active and it's a good thing to be politically active but at the same time that we're going to be loving and charitable towards those around us and not uh, be divided over things that would not scripture would not call us to be divided over and so really that's the essence of the message for Sunday morning as we look at the fact that our unity is in Christ and it's not in politics that we're not going to be uh, things that are that are not as essential according to the gospel that are not clear in the word of God we're not going to let those things things divide us, but rather we're going to be divided uh, only on things that, that Scripture would call us to divide over, to separate over. And so we're going to be united in the gospel. We're going to be united in our relationship with Jesus Christ. And so we're going to look specifically on Sunday morning at 1 Corinthians 11, verses 17 through 34, and talk about that unity that's in Jesus rather than unity that's in politics. And uh, you might be familiar with that passage because it's the passage that, that talks a lot about the Lord's Supper. And of course, the Lord's Supper is such a beautiful uh, act of worship to celebrate our unity that's in Christ, our unity that's in the gospel. And so we're going to take the Lord's Supper together Sunday morning. We'll have the prepackaged communion cups that have the little wafer in them. So we'll be able to do that safely and not put people in, in situations where they feel kind of uncomfortable or unsafe as we worship the Lord together through the Lord's Supper. And so for those who are who are active members of our church, or if, if we have visitors that are members of another church in good standing and have trusted in Christ and, and been baptized and uh, the Lord's Supper is something that we do to to to, to declare, as as Paul said in First Corinthians uh, eleven twenty six. He said, "For as often as you eat this bread and you drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes again." And so, really, that's the source of our unity, right? Our source of unity above all else, the foundation of our unity is who Jesus is and what he's done for us. The fact that he lived a perfect life, that he died on the cross for our sins. He took our place. He took the punishment that you and I deserve. And then he rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death so that everyone who calls upon his name will be saved. Everyone. And so when we turn from our sin and we place our faith in Jesus Christ and we receive that forgiveness, we receive that salvation, we are part of a family. We are part of a, a united body of believers called the church. And, and specifically, we, we join a local church to, to profess our faith in Christ and to show our commitment to Christ and to his church. And that unity, it, it transcends any sort of temporary unity that might be created on this earth. Things like politics, things that will pass away, uh, whereas the gospel gospel is forever. The word of God endures forever. And so we want to look at that on Sunday morning. That'll be during our worship celebration at 1040. And again, as we've been doing the last several weeks, we will have our outdoor worship celebration. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Praise the Lord. And we've got the shaded seating here on the west side of the building. And we want to encourage you to join us for that worship celebration. We continue to offer to uh, folks who would like to remain in their vehicles. They can do that and listen. Tune in to 91.1 FM, which comes in here in the parking lot on Sunday mornings during our service. We broadcast the signal there so they can run their vehicles and sit in the AC in their vehicles and listen that way or they can open their windows and listen uh, to the speakers that we have for the worship celebration and then we'll continue to offer the the streaming inside as well streaming the service uh, inside the sanctuary of course that's limited somewhat because of internet connectivity but it, that is an option as well if you prefer to be inside but really we want to encourage you to come if you haven't been coming we hope that you'll start joining us uh, because we really believe we've offered uh, opportunities for everyone Everyone, regardless of your comfort level to come and socially distance and be able to worship the Lord with us together on Sunday morning at 1040. Before that, we have family groups at 930. So during those family groups, we've got groups for all ages. All the groups have started back up again. The only exception is we do not have nursery yet. Uh, we're waiting on that just a little bit to give volunteers time to get back in and be able to do that comfortably. And of course, the, the toddlers and babies of, of any age, really hard to uh, to socially distance. So uh, while all the other classes are able to kind of spread out and we some meeting inside, some meeting outside, uh, we do not have nursery yet, but we hope to be starting that up soon. We'll keep you posted on that. 
but family groups for all ages at 9.30. And if you do have babies or toddlers, you're still obviously welcome to bring them. We'd love for you to. It's, it's very informal so they can come and if you need to get up and move around with them. And of course, during the worship celebration, we're outside and so kids can kind of play and, and, and sit and, and you know, there, it's, it's really an easy atmosphere for families. And so we hope that you'll join us for family groups at 9.30 worship at 10.30. And then Sunday evening at six o'clock, we've got our prayer and praise service. And also at the same time that we adults and children meet in the sanctuary for the prayer and praise service, the youth group, which is grades six through 12, they're meeting down in their, in the youth area. And they uh, as well have their discipleship Bible study on Sunday evenings from six to seven. And so uh, the prayer and praise service from six to seven, the youth group gathering from six to seven. And on Sunday evening during that prayer and praise service, of course, we pray for folks in our church and our community across our world. Uh, we also sing some songs of praise and then I'll do a short devotion on just the, the importance of edification in the body of Christ, how we gather for the purpose of building one another up. And so we'll, we'll talk about that finishing this short series that we've done uh, over the last month on the purpose of the church, the purpose of the gathering of the church, uh, which really that's what the church is. It's a gathering of local believers who uh, work and serve together to honor God and to build up one another. And so we'll look at that Sunday evening. So I hope you'll join us. 930 Family Groups, 1040 Worship Celebration, 6 o'clock Prayer and Praise Service, as well as the Youth Discipleship Bible Study. Looking forward to having you. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday. Thanks for praying for our service and for our church. And uh, if you have any prayer requests yourself, any needs, let us know. You can comment below or uh, contact. Uh, the information is down below as well. Contact us and let us know how we can walk alongside you in the gospel. Have a great day and God bless you.